Man, I don't know who to believe on this one. Yes! Yes, it's true! It's all true! Hey guys, welcome back to Hershey's Garage Plus Guns. And on today's daily dose of internet fun with concerning guns, trucks, cars, small engines, all the good stuff uh, that uh, you like to hear about. Yeah, I got a crazy one here for you. Um, if you have a six hour P320, you might want to definitely uh, take notice about what I'm about to show you because, yeah, it could uh, be potentially uh, life threatening. So, I don't know, you're going to have to make up your mind on this, whether you, you believe this story or not. So, let's dive into it right now to check out what the heck I am talking about. Oh, hurry up. All right, this story is coming to you from the Miami Herald, and it says, Dangerously defective pistol fires, even if you don't touch the trigger lawsuit says and it is supposedly i guess the model p320 and that is from six hour and uh let's go ahead and read on here to see what the heck is, this is all about because uh, potentially this could be a uh, a pretty big uh, game changer uh to uh, six hour uh and not in a good way uh and i you know and it's sad because i actually love the Sig Sauer brand uh, and I've been former military I've uh, used uh, these uh, pistols in the past and uh, I, I haven't had any problems with them so I don't know before we get started here let me know in the comments down below what do you th what do you think before you you listen to the all this stuff uh, here on this uh, uh, article here what do you think if you've had any experience with these weapons uh, um, do you think that this, uh, have you had any bad experiences? Have you, have, has it shot while you were look just looking at it or, or what, you know? Because uh, I haven't heard any of this stuff, but uh, I guess as we read on, you'll see uh, it sounds like it's more common than we thought. So again, let's read on here. A gun maker promised one of its pistols sold in the unit U.S. won't fire unless you want it to which is probably a good thing. Otherwise, the whole gun debate about the, uh, you know, guns don't fire by themselves uh, would uh, just fuel the fire to the liberals and anti-gun people out there. And boy, I could see this is would be just a horrible, horrible thing for law-abiding citizens and, and just pro-gun people out there that, uh, or just people that want to be able to protect their family or whatever reason they have for uh owning a gun uh this would be just one notch on on uh, their negative belt so to speak so let's see here L lives of an of experienced gun users who are suing sig sauer and company were upended by the company's dangerously defective pistol a complaint filed november 30th in federal court in new hampshire states so real quick if you uh have experienced something like this too Jump on that bandwagon. And I'm not saying that this is a, that's an awesome thing. And I, I want, you know, uh, gun manufacturers to be sued and all that crap. I definitely don't believe in a, a lot of the stuff that uh, the other side is trying to do, the left. Um, but, uh, I mean, gosh, if you were hurt by something that it was no fault of your own, definitely jump on that lawsuit bandwagon that's that's uh you need some compensation so anyway i just sorry side tangent there uh 20 plaintiffs 20 of them yeah that's that's a lot uh named in the lawsuit became a gunshot victims when their own six hour p320 pistol fired unexpectedly without the trigger ever being touched according to the complaint representing the plaintiffs nationwide and again, like I said, I just, I don't know. I, uh, I haven't heard anybody, uh, maybe I guess if I could see if you, 
you dropped it some and somehow it uh on, on some of the cheaper pistols i could see like uh and you cheaper pistol guys don't just jump on me here but high point pistols uh yeah and i've owned a couple myself so i you know i'm part of the part of that uh, bandwagon but uh yeah i could see maybe them you know doing the whole uh like if you dropped it and it had a big enough impact it goes off uh and i that can maybe happen on any weapon but i could see maybe a cheaper brand but sig sour come on now you guys are i think a pretty dang good reliable company and uh, yeah for this to happen uh, just i don't know like i said this is this is a tough one because it it uh I, I like i said i just i haven't heard or had any experience with with uh anything like that so i'm kind of doubting some of the stories but again let me know in the comments below what you guys think and whether i'm full of crap or or you're like yeah i think that's I haven't had any experience on that either. So let's read on here. These men and women were highly trained officers, veterans, and responsible and safety conscious gun users who put their trust in Sig Sauer, unaware that the gun they used to serve was a danger to themselves and anyone around them, one of the attorneys representing the plaintiff said. And of course, the attorneys are going to be, these sleaze balls are always pretty crazy on their, their use of the uh, English language and making making things sound a little uh, more dramatic than than what actually happened. Well, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the... Of, 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 of the... <clears throat> jury! Um... Uh, not saying that these this is not true. Again, I, I mean, it's, especially when, you know, it is an officer or somebody like that that is has been trained in the use of these and not just some joe blow citizen out there um yeah it kind of does make you think well yeah maybe this this is a uh a, a real thing here all right but let's hear from uh sig sour themselves or at least a representative and see what they said uh so it looks like samantha piat told this news company, McClatchy News, in a statement on December 5th that the pistol is designed to fire when the trigger is pulled and added that it includes internal safeties that prevent the firearm from discharging while without a trigger pull. And that's usually the case. And so that's what I'm saying. It just seems really weird. Um, so what are they going to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, cover? Uh, who, who, who did this actually hurt? And I'm sure that's what you're wondering right now. So you're like, here's to get to the good stuff here. All right. So there, like I said, there had been over 100 incidences and likely multiple more of six hour un unintentionally discharging when the user believed they did not pull the trigger. Uh, some of the complaints said, uh, okay, here we go. Here's one occasion. On one occasion, a Pennsylvania state trooper. So not just a... Uh, random person out there an actual trooper that i'm not saying that that all uh, uh police officers and all that are are highly trained and and uh you know on their weapons and they use them all the time because actually i don't think that is the case there's a lot of a lot of uh, departments out there that probably don't train enough because they're not getting all, enough uh, funding. And that means, yeah, you liberals out there that uh, are trying to defund the police there, that's what happens is you get people that uh, aren't getting trained and, and don't know how to use their weapons and crap. Not Like I said, not saying this is the case, but uh, you can see how that could happen if you don't uh, have a lot of funding there. And there's definitely a lot of uh, police officers that probably don't haven't used their weapons in a long time except maybe just uh once a year or whatever when they're they uh, do their annual training or something like that uh so uh, uh anyway trooper this trooper was killed when another trooper sig sour oh crap okay so he was actually killed when this uh another trooper's uh pistol fired without him touching the trigger during a safety training in 
2015, the complainant states. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's not just getting hurt, that's getting killed. Um, that's obvi obvious there. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is a lot more than, uh, than just, uh, yeah, a few people getting hurt here. Uh, the lawsuit called the pistol the most dangerous pistol for its users sold in the United States market. Boy, yeah, Sig Sauer is going to be in trouble if this actually comes down to them doing bad. But let's get a couple more uh, incidences so you can kind of get a feel for what uh, actually went on here. All right, gun goes off in its holster. Many of the plaintiffs suing Sig Sauer were shot and injured by the 320 pistol when it randomly went off in their holsters, according to the complaint. And that is pretty crappy there. Yeah, that that's what we're talking about here is, wow, uh, it's going off without you even, you know, having your fingers close to the to trigger. And I'm, you can't see, but I'm off, off screen here, reaching down on my side like I'm grabbing my weapon. So, uh, uh, which I don't have one on, uh, on me, but uh, um, that's what I was doing. If you're wondering, I'm not scratching my butt or anything. But scratcher! Butt scratcher! Can't you butt scratcher here? Butt scratcher! 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 This includes a custom enforcement agent who has had extensive firearms training experience. The complaint says during a training uh, accident in Tennessee, her 320 pistol, P2320 pistol, suddenly and unexpectedly fired while in its holster, causing a bullet to blast into her right hip. In December 2020, ooh, dang that! Yeah, that's a horrible, horrible way to get shot, um, especially in the hip. Uh, let's see. Oh, another individual who also had prior experience with firearms training was shot in both legs by his own pistol. At the time, he tossed a small wooden paddle onto a chair where his holstered pistol sat. The complainant says. Then he, the paddle, incidentally touched the pistol. And it fired. A bullet hit uh, his right and left thighs, resulting in physical injuries and trauma. And another occasion, a Pasco County Sheriff's deputy in Florida was shot by his holstered pistol while putting on his duty belt. The complaint set, states he never touched the trigger and did not intend to fire the gun when a bullet hit him in the knee. And then, of course, the lawsuit goes on to uh, cite a whole bunch of other ones. You know, uh, before we go here, a lot of those, a lot of those statements, yeah, like I said, they're they're pretty crazy, and and uh, like I said, if this is true, yeah, this is, I mean, that Sig Sauer should definitely take that off the market, and they, <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be in business anymore. But like like I said, some of those, um, I could see maybe you just accidentally, somehow, like when that he threw that piece of wood or something, it caught the the trigger and went off or when you're putting your duty holster on and you accidentally not even knowing it well you know loop your finger around that trigger and boop you know there you go i just you know these are going to be hard to prove unless there's actual video on them so uh i just i, I hope for six hours sake that that uh these were for some reason um they they are going to be explained away uh not saying that uh you know i those the, the officers or the uh just personal i guess citizens or whatever uh, not saying that i want them to suffer needlessly or not get compensated for anything but obviously if it was their fault uh then it was their fault and you know that's just bad luck so um anyway guys like i said <laughs> let me know what you think because this is a yeah, this is a crazy one, and this could have some major implications. Um, so comment down below and tell me what you think. With that being said, my time is up. You don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore, but you do have to hit that like button, subscribe, share the crap out of this video, and comment, 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 like I said. And I will, if you do that, I will see you on the next video, okay? All right. Love you guys. Peace.